Our today's topic is need for achievement, affiliation and power motivation theory. In the early 1960s McClelland, built on Maslow's work, described three human motivators. McClelland Arnold et al. 2005 claimed that humans acquire, learn their motivators over time that is the reason why this theory is sometimes called the learned needs theory. He affirms that we all have three motivating drivers, and it does not depend on our gender or age. One of these drives or needs will be dominant in our behavior. McClellan's theory differs from Maslow's and Alderfer's, which focus on satisfying existing needs rather than creating or developing needs. This dominant motivator depends on our culture and life experiences, of course, but the three motivators are permanent. The three motivators are Achievement, a need to accomplish and demonstrate competence or mastery. Affiliation, a need for love, belonging and relatedness. Power, a need for control over one's own work or the work of others. These learned needs could lead to diversity and variety between employees. More precisely, prioritization and importance of these motivational needs characterizes a person's behavior. As we wrote, although each person has all of these needs to some extent, only one of them tends to motivate an individual at any given time. Achievement motivation, a need to accomplish and demonstrate competence or mastery. It pertains to a person's need for significant success, mastering of skills, control or high standards. It is associated with a range of actions. Individuals seek achievement, attainment of challenging, and also realistic, goals, and advancement in the school or job. This need is influenced by internal drivers for action, intrinsic motivation, and the pressure used by the prospects of others, extrinsic motivation. Low need for achievement could mean that individuals want to minimize risk of failure, and for this reason people may choose very easy or too difficult tasks, when they cannot avoid failure. In contrast, high need for achievement means that humans try to choose optimal, sufficiently difficult tasks, because they want to get the chance to reach their goals, but they have to work for it, they need to develop themselves. Individuals with high need for achievement like to receive regular feedback on their progress and achievements, and often like to work alone, seek challenges and like high degree of independence. Sources of high need for achievement can be, praise for success, goal-setting skills, one's own competence and effort to achieve something, and it does not depend only on luck, of course positive feelings and also independence in childhood. McClellan said that training, teaching can increase an individual's need for achievement. For this reason, some have argued that need for achievement is not a need but a value. Affiliation motivation, a need for love, belonging and relatedness. These people have a strong need for friendships and want to belong within a social group, need to be liked and held in popular regard. They are team players, and they may be less effective in leadership positions. High need for affiliation persons have support from those with whom they have regular contact and mostly are involved in warm interpersonal relationships. After or during stressful situation individuals need much more affiliation. In these situations people come together and find security in one another. There are times when individuals want to be with others and at other times to be alone, affiliation motivation can become increased or decreased. Individuals do not like high risk or uncertainty, 